Okay, we are on to chapter seven of The Tale of Despero by Kate D. Camillo, with permission from Scholastic Publishing. Um, chapter seven is called A Mouse in Love. We know the mouse has fallen in love with um, the Princess P. We know that his father is very upset that he is interacting with humans, so he's called a council of, um, of the mice, a mouse council, to punish, to um, come up with a punishment. So we'll see what happens. Chapter seven, <clears throat> a mouse in love. And what was our own favorite member of the mouse community doing while the sound of the mouse council drum echoed through the walls of the castle? Reader, I must report that Furlough had not seen the worst of it. Despero sat with the princess and the king and listened to song after song. At one point, gently, oh so gently, the pea picked up the mouse in her hand. She cupped him in her palm and scratched his oversized ears. You have lovely ears, the princess said. They are like small pieces of velvet. Despero thought that he might faint with the pleasure of someone referring to his ears as small and lovely. He laid his tail against the pea's wrist to steady himself, and he felt the princess's pulse, the pounding of her heart, and his own heart immediately took up the same rhythm of hers. Papa, the pea said when the music was over, I'm going to keep this mouse. We're going to be great friends. The king looked at Despero, cupped in his daughter's hands, and he narrowed his eyes. A mouse is a rodent. What, said the pea? Put it down the king commanded. No, said the pea. She was not a person at all used to being told the word no. I mean, Papa, why should I? Because I told you to. But why, protested the pea. Because it's a mouse. I know, I'm the one who told you he's a mouse. I wasn't thinking, said the king. Thinking of what? I guess your mother. I wasn't thinking of the queen. My mother? said the pea, sadly. Mice are rodents, said the king. He adjusted his crown. They are indeed related to rats. You know how we feel about rats. You know of our own dark history with rats. The pea shuddered. But Papa, he's not a rat, he's a mouse. There's a difference. Royalty, the king said, has many responsibilities. And one of them is not becoming involved personally with even the distant relatives of one's enemies. Put him down. The princess put Despero down. Good girl, said the king, and then he looked at Despero. Scat, he said. Despero, however, did not scat. He sat and stared up at the princess. The king stamped his foot. Scat, he shouted. Papa, said the princess, please don't be mean to him. And she began to weep. Despero, seeing her tears, broke the last of the great ancient rules of mice. So there's another rule to be broken. And do you know what that rule is? Speaking. He spoke to a human. Please, said Despero, don't cry. And he held out his handkerchief to the princess. The pea sniffed and leaned down close. Do not speak to her, thundered the king. Despero dropped his handkerchief. He backed away from the king. Rodents do not speak to princes princesses. We will not have this becoming a topsy-turvy, wrong-headed world. There are rules. Scat, get lost, before my common sense returns and I have you killed. The king stamped his foot again. Despero found it alarming to have such a big foot brought down with so much force and anger so close to his own small head. He ran towards the hole in the wall. But he turned before he entered it. He turned and shouted back to the princess, My name is Despero. Despero, she said. I honor you, shouted Despero. I honor you was what the knight said to the fair maiden in the story that Despero read every day in the book in the library. Despero had muttered the phrase often to himself, but he had never before had occasion to use it when speaking to someone. Get out of here, shouted the king, stamping his foot harder and then harder still, so it seemed as if the whole castle and the very world were shaking. Rodents know nothing of honor. 
Despero ran into the hole, and from there he looked out at the princess. She had picked up his handkerchief, and she was looking at him, right directly into his soul. Despero, she said. He saw his name on her lips. I honor you, whispered Despero. I honor you. He put his paw over his heart. He bowed so low that his whiskers touched the floor. He was, alas, alas, a mouse deeply in love. Chapter 8 is called To the Rats. So, reader, something you can do is be thinking about what characters are doing who are not in the scene. They're called offstage characters. So, as this scene is happening and we're reading about Despero and the princess and the king, um, you can be thinking to yourself, what are the other characters doing? So, the offstage characters are his family, right? The, um, the Tilling family. So we know Lester was summoning the Mouse Council, but you could be thinking about the exact conversations Lester might be ha having with Antoinette, the mother. You could be thinking about what the siblings are saying about Despero. And when you think about what characters are doing who are off stage, and you think specifically about what they could be saying in their actions, you're growing as a reader. Um, it's helping you to understand the story even more. Um, so you could be thinking about that as I read next time. Um, and also, we've not met the rats, but you could be thinking about what these rats in the dungeon might be thinking. They probably can talk like the mice. Um, so I'll see you next time for the next chapter.